William P. Fox, and I'm a professor at the Naval Post Graduate School. I teach a three-course sequence in mathematical modeling in the Department of Defense Analysis, and I've been there for six years. Prior to that, I was the chairman of a math department at Francis Marion University for eight years. In 1991, I was teaching a new course in nonlinear optimization at the United States Military Academy, a course that I created, and I needed to have good software in order for the students to really get involved with uh, all the different topics in uh, you know, optimization and multivariable calculus and things beyond that. At that time, we had Mathematica. And the Mathematica version we had, it, it had a front-end notebook. It, it, I didn't think it was very user-friendly at all. And uh, my students were struggling with it. And the courses meet, you know, every day. And I was right in the middle of my first lab with this new session using Mathematica. And it was on the last day of September. We did the first part, the introduction to the lab. And I had them again on the 1st of October, and the fiscal year for the government begins on 1 October. And the head of our computer center came to me and said, we have a problem. We didn't renew the site license for Mathematica. We now have a site license for Maple. In which case, I you know, didn't know what to expect. I said, I don't know Maple. And immediately got a hold of it started learning it, rewrote the entire lab. It was the easiest thing that I've ever done to transfer from Mathematica into Maple. Uh, my students said it was a blessing in disguise. They loved Maple. It was so easy for them to use and so powerful. Uh, and I was, I've been a Maple user ever since. It was chosen at West Point, but when I went to Francis Marion University as the chair, we had absolutely, we didn't have software. We didn't even have computers. So I immediately got a friend of mine who owned a company in, uh, outside of Cleveland to donate to me 20 old computers since he was buying new computers. I built my own computer lab, and the first thing I did is I got a site license for Maple and put that on there, and we got everything we needed with, the, with my computer friends that we had. We put it together, and once we had it, then the university felt morally responsible to upgrade my computers every other year and so we we kept up with upgrading the maple and everything else and i ran every lab that i could using maple differential equations mathematical modeling nonlinear optimization linear optimization all my favorite courses and many 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 of my other faculty were doing it we actually gave uh, faculty workshops maple has done a lot in development because I mean I started with Maple 3 I believe and you know I've been using it ever since and I keep noticing that more and more things have been added to Maple. Uh, several things that I like other than the ease of the software, using the software, the new you know the pull down menus and everything great, but your Maple Application Center and the things that different students and faculty members can go to to learn more about Maple and the power of Maple it's tremendous. To be honest, prior to using computer algebra systems in Maple, I used to grab paper and pencil and I'd write down the problem and start playing with it. I don't do that anymore. I go immediately to the computer because I can explore more in depth, put it in the equation, see what it looks like. I can rotate it. There's so many different things that I can do in Maple that helps me explore deeper and find things that I never would have found using paper and pencil that then I can have my students do and they can have the same kind of discoveries that I did. I know that Maple prepares students, prepares anyone who's interested in being a problem solver and doing something after they graduate. And for whether they want to go into business, industry, government, you name it, having the ability to get on a piece of software and solve problems and as I said before do any sort of sensitivity analysis and find out the, the parameters of what if something changes what effect does that have it's fundamental to making good decisions because we don't have the simple here I give you a dime and you take a dime and leave today the dime comes from someplace else you have to do something else with the dime especially if you want it to be worth more than a dime later and you have to find or look at all the dynamics of that which is something that, you know, Maple really helps you do. And the fact that you can do not just solving
problems for which you have closed form analytical solutions is the fact that uh, Maple has a very powerful numerical approach and so you can get numerical answers and then graph those numerical answers to see what's happening in, in different colors and different results so you can really measure change.